Hello everybody, I'm Wizbro100, and here with me is D Tysonator. I'm back. Yes, he's back, he's, we're back to movie watching, and there's this thing I wanted to do for quite a while, and that was kind of just talk about the movies we watch, because whenever we get a chance, chance we go watch movies that, um, that we own, like, we, we've watched yeah. a lot so far, like Back to the Future, Terminator, <laughs> Robocop, Robocop and, yes. all that stuff, but uh, the reason I put this off is... Aside from like the time, because uh, uh, I've been busy. Yes, right? you've you've been busy for a lot, so it's kind of like even even the whole watching the movie is already like, like you know, t eats up most of the time because they're like an hour long and so forth. But anyways, there are other movies I wanted to talk about, but the, the reason I didn't want to do it, aside from the time thing, is that uh, some of them are like like a series of movies, like a trilogy, like say. Uh, the RoboCop. I I wanted to talk about that, but we haven't seen, seen the third, th the third yes, one to the third one. to give the opinion on it, and that's why. But um, the movie we watched today, I think I decided that this would be a good, or not a good place to start, but definitely a place to start, and that's Mortal Kombat. Just Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yes, this came out twenty years ago, guys. Oh yes, this is. Uh, I guess it is a good day today because August eighteenth, uh, two thousand fifteen, this twenty years anniversary. Yes. Yeah. So this. So I guess it is kind of uh, ironic. <laughs> I don't know. I, I th forgot about it. So I guess it was a good day to talk about it. So yeah, we finished watching the Mortal Kombat movie, and this is my uh, first time like seeing it in its entirety. So. Uh, yes. I thought the movie. I thought the movie was. I can see why people said it was one of the more successful video games. Uh, one of the most successful video game adaptations. It's yeah. I could definitely see that. So, what were your impressions when you uh, saw it? Well, uh, I thought it was a, uh, it was it wasn't the, the greatest movie ever, obviously, but it had some some great moments, some great acting, uh, especially the guy who played Shang Tsung. I forget his name was, I think Gary something, but he, he did a fantastic job. Yes, uh, it's, it's it's just Johnny Cage was a, was fun. Even though, would you like if they had John Claude Van Damme as, as Johnny Cage? <laughs> See, that was originally, yeah. uh, I was looking online, originally uh, the Mortal Kombat people wanted John Claude Van Damme because it was, I think it was supposed to be like his, the John Claude Van Damme tournament where he plays that character, but because the John Claude Van Damme was like, oh no, I don't want my image in this. So that's why Johnny Cage was uh, made in, in his place. But yeah, I thought that... I, but yeah, like I said, I thought the movie was it was pretty decent. I didn't think I wasted my time compared to say other movies that I uh, we will be watching like the <laughs> Mario Brothers one. Oh my god. And oh. uh not the sequel Mortal Kombat Annihilation. That's kind of why I said like okay, let's just talk about this cuz you're not uh, you don't have the you don't have the movie, do you? Which one? Annihilation? No, I don't. Cuz it was bad. It was true, that true bad. story, guys, when that movie came out my uh, next door neighbor, my friend, we, we rented it from the local store. We didn't watch the whole movie. We got like halfway. So you know what? Let's just stop. So we returned it that same day. Guys. Oh. <laughs> so, so bad. Yeah, yeah. I've heard it was yeah. definitely bad. But it like bad. They, they all said the first movie was... They all said the first movie was at least, you know, it's a good watch. Yeah. And it was a good watch. I was actually kind of a little surprised at it. Um, I, had, I mean, I had some cheesy moments, yes. But, yeah, um, yeah. Cheesy moments that were just like, we can, we can probably... Yeah. We couldn't probably talk about that. I mean, uh, we're, we don't have to worry about spoilers because this movie's 20 years old. I, I, I think it's completely okay. So, well, yeah. I mean, having Christopher Lambert as uh, as Raiden, I, I mean, I, they, they cast him because of the Highlander movie. That's why they, they brought mm. him in this movie. But uh, Yeah, yeah, Christopher Lambert, who uh, was John... Um, let's see. What was the character? Connor McCloud yeah, from Connor the Highlander McLeod. movie, which I still haven't seen, and a lot of you are probably going to gonna be like, go oh, watch that movie, you son <laughs> of a bee. But yeah... I thought it was okay. He didn't do a lot in the movie, unlike, say, the game where he yeah. participates in the tournament. But, like you said, he was an instructor sort of guy. Yeah, he was more an instructor. Same with uh, Katana, in this case. So She was kind of just... Yeah, she, she didn't have the, the mask or the, the fans or anything. And but, she uh... looked like Sonya Blade. Every Like, uh, one moment in the movie when they were in yeah, the outworld, I was like, oh, Sonya Blade, she's probably under... Oh, wait, no, it's Katana. They, t they tied their hair back in the same way. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was like, I was like, are these twins? Yeah. Like, yeah but apparently not, but... What about Melina? She wasn't even in this movie. Oh, see, she was uh, in the sequel, though. I think so, yeah. So so uh, so it's okay, but Katana, yeah, she was supposed yeah. to be in the sequel too. Um, 
Yeah, the, the actors were... They, they all did their job. Some did better than others. Like, yeah. for instance, yeah, you said Chang Sung, and I agree, because he has that menacing, like, your soul is mine. Like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he, he had the essence of yeah, the character. Maybe he, maybe he stole his soul, too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Shang Tsung, your soul is mine. Now I'm Shang Tsung. Yeah, that's how he got the car- into Shang character. Shang Tsung steals his own yeah. soul. Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, and he's not an old man in this. He's like no, a he's young like, guy, like in the second game. part two, yeah, you're right. He is the younger looking. Uh, I think this, this actor would have been good as a shredder as well if they made a... I mean, they did make a, a re-release. Not re-release, sorry. A reboot of Ninja Turtles recently, and they didn't choose him as the actor. They chose like a. a... Wait, well, he would have been like old by this point, too, yeah, right? I guess twenty years later, yeah, that's true. If you said like for the original Ninja Turtles uh, trilogy, or yeah, trilogy, yeah. I, I have it here too, and I and I've seen <laughs> all four of it. But uh, did yeah. you see all four of them? Uh, I've seen. I haven't seen the animated one actually. No, I have not seen the animated. It, it's 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 okay. But, yes, okay. But you know, like it's kind of like Mortal Kombat. It's not it's not a waste of time. Yeah, I, w- I would ha- say it has its moments. Uh, one thing we wanted to point out. Uh, this is well, this is the VHS copy, guys. But if you can see here, it was rated PG fourteen. <laughs> Wait, PG fourteen? No, fourteen A. Actually, yeah, fourteen A. Sorry. So what? Which... So what did that translate to? Well, yeah, right in, uh, to, to, to like now. Right now, that would be considered. Uh, I don't know. There used to be like double A, like not batteries, but like there was a rating called double A, um, and I guess this was the the one just below that. Then there was PG thirteen, PG and G. Those were the the ratings at the time. And so, rated R. So basically, this was supposed to be like um, almost not like, not mature, but it was like teen. A little bit over teen, yeah. Like, which is strange because there's actually no Goro really in this game. There's a Goro. There's a Goro, yeah. Yeah, good one. <laughs> there uh, is a Goro. And, bad puns, bad puns. And that was actually, I mean, he, I think the character was okay in this one. The Goro. Yeah, man. Goro. Yeah. Like he yeah. had a mixture of like puppetry and... some puppetry and some 3D. You could yeah. tell when it's a 3D. Yeah. But the pup, but it's still it's good enough that it kind of blends into its world. Like you'll notice it, but it's like you know it doesn't take you out of the movie. Like I, I get the other, the other effects though did sort. No, they didn't Rep, take me Rep, out. But reptile, yeah, reptile Rep, was not done well, guys. No, he no. was like something from a reboot. Yeah, like, like from the show reboot. I was like, it just didn't like, work. Mm, it seems a little <laughs> weird. But they interacted like really well though. Like when Liu Kang was grabbing yeah, him. Yeah, that was okay. It was like it was like that's that's seamless. You certain can... certain parts were good. Yeah. Right, let's see, and then it's... Scorpion's like yeah that was... snake rope. Mm. I was like. Yeah, that was kind of weird. It was like a creature, right? Like it, it got stuck in the tree at one point and, it, di- its and head, died. It, it blew, was that what happened? Like it, it looked like it, it blew up in the tree. It was just yeah. like, and I was like, where'd the blood come from? Yeah, it didn't make yeah when sense. you first see it, like when it opened up, you could see like the 3D trying to like stay still on yeah. it. And I was like, I noticed it wiggling. And then the Sub Zero. Um, I mean, he did do the freeze, but that that effect was more acceptable. I was yeah. like, yeah, he's doing his ice attack. So if it looks out of place, it's it's okay. Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, like finishing moves, uh, I mean they did have uh, Johnny Kid tried to do his uh, his shadow kick, but then he, uh, Scorpion teleported into the other realm, so that that didn't happen. And then uh, Scorpion also tried to do his finisher where he, when he took off his his mask and the shot fire, and, and that that was pretty. Yeah, that cool. was done pretty well. Yeah. That was pretty cool. And and you were like the way he died was kind of weird because he exploded. Yeah, he exploded. Yeah. Do you guys remember that in the games? When the hell does he explode? Then unless you did like a really those exploding fatalities but not in the first game yeah yeah you're right later on so uh um, well i assume he was because he was a hell spawn and the exploding was probably a lot better than if he just fell over because it'd been like yeah well, scorpion's dead yeah, I could see the that. thing that happened afterwards i was like if i was if i didn't know the video game this would have been so out of place because when he exploded johnny cage's picture and yeah, autograph comes autograph. out and i was like to my number one fan or something <laughs> yeah to my number one yeah. fan i was like yeah i was like if i didn't if I was, if I didn't know anything about Mortal Kombat, that would have been like, why what, they put what the this? Hell scene? Was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, it was like, it's kind of funny, but it was kind of weird because it didn't, because the movie, for the most part, kind of, I wouldn't say act realistically, but at least it was staying grounded. So that was just a little weird, out of like nowhere. It was, yeah, uh, for sure. It's, it's, uh, yes, but going about the the age rating, yeah, there's nothing in this movie that that warrants that rating. Or yeah. That rating. Uh, uh, we we suspected a few things like there were no fatalities. There was there really was no. Well, there was like tiny slips of blood. But yeah, that not, that, that, yeah, that yeah, shouldn't much. that shouldn't not be like enough. The, not the games. Yeah. Let's see. There was a thing where it's like Johnny Cage was like like something to Goro like asshole. Those were five hundred dollar sunglasses. Asshole. Asshole. Yeah, asshole. And it's like exactly. oh maybe that's why. And then it was like <laughs> oh. 
getting our ass kicked. It's like, oh, there's another one. It's like, it's like <laughs> and the effects weren't that scary. This is no scary movie or anything. It's it's pretty lighthearted, I'd say. I think so. Yeah, it's it's not too serious, and the action the action is pretty decent. It's not like the greatest thing, but but it was it was good. Uh, I, yeah. I, I I enjoyed most of the fights. I didn't I didn't quote unquote like them, but they were they were done well. Well choreographed. And the soundtrack worked well at times. Um, it's the Mortal Kombat soundtrack. It was a pretty upbeat, like a dance-like uh, tunes like, in it. and um, Like a nightclub kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, kind of. Or yeah. a rave. Yeah, so. yeah, more like a rave. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 <laughs> Test your might and all that. Uh, it was cool that Reptile actually donned his, his ninja costume at one point. The, the well. way he got it was, it was weird. Because yeah, like, the, the, the 3D reptile thing fell into the statue fused with the statue right kind of you know what was also yeah. weird when i saw it it was like what's grabbing on the reptile and then when we see the thing break it's just a bunch of maggots and stuff it's like yeah it's like it, what it was pretty strange it was a weird way to get him <laughs> in but i was like hey it's reptile and that's cool yeah. uh interesting note uh i don't, I don't know if we're, we're probably not gonna watch the sequel right i don't think so. you're not gonna get me to watch it because yeah. you're just like it's bad yeah, <laughs> it's probably not but just to spoil it if you haven't seen it guys uh, Johnny Cage. What what kills that movie, guys, or annihilates that movie? In other words, is right at the right like... at the beginning of the movie they kill off Johnny Cage. Can you believe that? Because right, right the away. actor didn't want to be in the movie because the yeah. script sucks. So yeah. he was like, you know, just kill so me off. Kill them off. So that was pretty bad. Yeah, it um, said annihilate all expectation. It's like yeah, they just did that everything. backfired so badly. <laughs> yeah, that that killed the movie, guys. Because he was he was like one of the the main characters in this in the original. Oh, sorry. And he did a really good job. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the characters acted, yeah. like, mostly the way they did. Shang Tsung all the way through. Raiden just... Like I said, he didn't really do a lot. He's just like, I'm Raiden, and I have lightning. I'm also Connor McCloud. <laughs> so he was, just, he was just all wise. Uh... Liu Kang, I mean, he had to kind of learn some things before he fully grasped what it took to, well, to be his responsibilities his responsibilities yeah, was doing his yeah so it was I think it was different from the game where yeah. it was just like he just ended in this tournament for something I have to look it up or maybe we have to ask many ninjas about it yeah, ninjas our Mortal know. Kombat <laughs> expertise who's not here with us yeah. but yeah so this, there are some slight alterations of the story but for the most part it keeps to, to the game and has some of its own and even Sonya, uh, she's she's very badass initially but then they make her more of a damsel in distress by the end of it which is kind of weird I mean they should have kept her i don't know i think she should have stayed strong i mean she end, did but... like lighten up around johnny cage and they did yeah. eventually like go out but she was still like very serious and yeah. stern because uh, raiden wanted her to learn how to trust others yeah, trust others not fear people because so the because the, the reason for that is because her partner died because she trusted him to do something yeah. and it's like oh no if only i didn't trust him yeah to do that. Like, not that she didn't trust it, it's just like you know she feels she should do everything herself so no one else has to suffer so yeah I'm making her sound more in depth than the movie <laughs> did, but yeah, yeah. So she gets captured by Shang Tsung like at near the end, and I was like, "Liu Kang, what were you, what were you doing? I don't know. How did he hell all that? How did he, how, <laughs> how? It wasn't like, you know, Shang Tsung like knocked him out or anything. Maybe he's so too was busy weird. flirting with Katana or something. Was she there? She, Maybe I don't know. She wasn't there until he went to Outworld yeah, I, again. I didn't think so. But yeah, yeah, Katana. It was like, I didn't quite buy Katana's like, like the relationship. Bel- well, the relationship and, like, the belief in Liu Kang, because he's just, like, she just sees him, like, in this one shot, like... Yeah, she they just I glance. Believe, I just believe in you. It's like, did you see into his soul or something? <laughs> she must have. Because <laughs> I thought it would have been better if, like, you know, when he was fighting the, uh, his opponent... I'm just going to refrain from saying, like, what kind, but... Yeah. So he wins, and I thought Shang Tsung would have been, like, Liu Kang, finish him! And Liu Kang would be like, no, he has fought honorably. Yeah, that would have been I would show him mercy, and then you know, and Katana's watching. She's like, "Like this is the one." But no, it's just like, yeah. it's like I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't care if it was like he was a chosen one. You got to have something set up there. So I thought that was kind of weak with all that belief. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it felt like I want. I w- I'm sorry, from time to time, it was just going from one fight to the next, and there wasn't really any. There was not a lot of dialogue, which was kind of surprising because. Yeah. There's like bits and pieces uh, in between, but for the most part, it's just jump to fight, jump to next fight, jump to next yeah. fight. Like, it moves along. Like so. the video game itself. Uh, yeah, so in that sense, you know, they did a good job. It didn't It up. didn't quite waste, it didn't really waste your time. No, that's true. But yeah, um, definitely one of the, I'd say the better video game related movies. Uh, we'll, oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll probably watch one of the worst in the future, so Super Mario Brothers. 
See how that goes. I, I know it's just gonna be bad, but I just gotta watch it anyways. <laughs> There's also Street Fighter the movie, which was uh, you know I mean it's kind of cheesy, but it it has it's like laughable though in a way, so it's kind of so bad it's funny. It's amusing in certain ways, and Jean Claude Van Damme is in that movie, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, 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 but but like you know <laughs> I think Mortal Kombat will, Mortal Kombat would be better than Street Fighter yeah. the movie in terms of like so far. Yeah, but yeah. Speaking of like cheesiness, there's there's, there's that thing with the autograph that was kind of cheesy, but it was funny. And then <laughs> Liu Kang's bicycle kick was just like yeah, that was that was from the sequel actually. He doesn't do that in the original game, but it was kind of kind of cool that he had that. He didn't make the noise though, really. He didn't go. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, because no- it was kind of that was ridiculous. I was in he was gonna do it, he, didn't he didn't do it, do it that w- he didn't do it that no, well because no. it was just it was just like instead of like a bicycle like kicking motion. That's true. Uh, there were other corny moments in it too. Was it like that? Was it with like one of the fights with like score or wait, no? We are talking Scorpion Sub Zero. Was there anything? Oh corny yeah, that? yeah. The uh, the whole use the element of life, which in this case is water. It was kind of weird because he's trying to build up this huge, massive you know ball of of ice. Of ice. And then Luke Kang notices there's a bucket of water, and uh, that that uh, Christopher Lambert like brought in earlier because I guess he, he predicted yeah, it. He's trying to help him out, and then uh, Katana's like you know looking into his soul and say, "Use the element of life," and, or reminding yeah, him. Yeah, reminding him. So he you know he flips it in the or, not, or he it doesn't flip it in the air, but he kind of holds it Centris- centrifugal force and like just throws it, and then the and s- then the water merges with the ice and turns into like a, a icicle, big, steak. Yeah, icicle steak and, 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 and stuff. Like and... how how did that happen? <laughs> I didn't quite get that. It was just like. Because if you threw water, it would fly all over the place. Yeah. It just somehow conformed into an, an Perfect, icicle and then yeah. just, like, stabs Scorpion. It's like... Or uh, Sub-Zero. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Or, yes, Sub-Zero. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, they're not enemies in this in this movie because... Well, because uh, he has them under... Uh, Shang Tsung has them on, under his power. They're slaves on... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so... Slaves, uh, it, it was kind of weird in a way, but at least it was doing its own thing, which... Yeah, it was okay because... Yeah. Subs- Sub Zero is from the Lin Kuei clan, and he does his own thing. And Scorpion's only there because he wants revenge on uh, Sub Zero. Actually, yeah, Sub Zero. Yeah. Because in the game, uh, Sub Zero is the murder of uh, his village. Yeah, including himself. Yeah, because Scorpion be, uh, somehow merges with uh, uh, I don't know some made a deal with the kind of like Ghost Rider in a way. Like he oh yeah, it's true it's though, just... right? Because Ghost Rider does that too. <laughs> yeah. He... <laughs> When he rips off his mask, it looks like yeah. Ghost Rider. I was like, hey, Ghost Rider. Yeah, pretty much. And it's same with Shang Tsung. He's like, I see into your soul. It's like, are you Ghost Rider? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess Ghost Rider would be like the good guy version of Shang Tsung. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Anything else um, worth mentioning about this movie? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, some effects were good. Some effects were not so good. Like I said, Goro was probably the best effect. Yeah, especially out of all of them, because Reptile wasn't that great. The the lightning and Raven was just kind of like, eh. It did its job. Were you disappointed with the way they they dealt with Goro in the end, like fin- how they, he got finished off by Johnny Cage? Or in some ways, Not- yes, but in another way, because uh, if you've played the video game, he is a cheap son of a bee, and it's like, well, yeah. if only we could really knock him off like that. So it was kind of like a. It's kind of like, uh, you know, Johnny Cage says he has a plan. Yeah. And Knock him eh. off the mountain. And yeah. there was no rule against it. Shang Tsung no. didn't say, you can't do that, or yeah. anything like that. So That's true. I, his death was a little anticlimactic, I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. But, you know, we've seen him, like, beat, like, 50 <laughs> people before him. Yeah. Uh, the, the soul of, the effect with the souls and stuff, that was okay. Mm. The scorpion, the scorpion snake rope was, or harpoon, or snake harpoon was okay too. Yeah. It, it was still a little weird because it went around. Scorpion's effect, or Sub-Zero's ice was was fine too. It worked out. I'm trying to think what else was good. But it's, it's not, it's not uh, special effects heavy, and that's kind of nice. I was actually at one point expecting a Kano to use his laser eye to shoot something uh you know what he in the game itself he doesn't do that actually you would think that his eye would do something but it doesn't it uh, does it in it, one of the games oh, really later on yeah okay yeah maybe not the first game but definitely one of the games really okay because i know in the first one he doesn't do anything with his eyes the second one he's captured in the background so you can't play as him in the third one kano yeah yeah he's with remember he's uh i know sonya Shaw- was in the background yeah, shotgun's in the back and then uh sonya's chained and kano they're both chained Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And then in part three, Kano comes back and he shaved his head. And I don't remember him using his eye though, but I could be wrong. It was probably one yeah. of his fatalities then. Yeah, yeah mm. probably. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, overall, 
I would uh, recommend this movie. It's uh, it's not a great movie, but it's entertaining for the time, and it's and as a movie by itself, even if you don't know the video game, it's still pretty all right. You're not missing anything no. if you don't watch it, but if you if you got the chance to watch it, I'd say take a look. It's pretty all right. Yep, and the pace is is not bad. Not a, not a very long movie, not a very short movie. It's about uh, just over. It was definitely over ninety minutes. Maybe like it's an hour and forty one minutes. Okay, so and the length is. It doesn't feel no. like that long. No, it, to be it feels like uh, forty five minutes to me. That's uh or you know fifty minutes. It feels like uh, just under an hour. So was, the pacing was pretty good. And in terms of the visuals, I think you like the the set designs are actually pretty pretty done pretty well. I mean, there's some three D elements thrown in there, but they don't like over abuse it. Like yeah. uh, I believe in the second movie where they it's like it they, much, they use it too much, especially for that final fight with the dragon in the thing. I was it was just like <laughs> no matter who watches it, that is like. Yeah. weird because it also didn't look that great for the most part it's the sets are very practical and yeah you gotta appreciate the movie for that it's well directed action is quite quite decent and has its own story like we said it doesn't follow the game exactly but i think that's fine especially unless yeah, uh, as long as you do it like uh as long as you do it well and kind of have your own take on it because sometimes being too faithful to like your source material can be bad yeah same with i think comic book films uh they don't want to be exactly like the comics they want to do some kind of but you want to keep writing, these certain yeah. elements of it that yeah. that you know are <laughs> important to the comic but you can alter like change a few things like for instance like i said with, Sub- with sub-zero like why is he working for shannon so always under his control it's like yeah and, you know forget the details like <laughs> we just need the ninjas to work for the bad guy yeah oh, i'm trying to look on my back Ugh. Yeah, one of the actors also in Last Action Hero, Bridget Wilson. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Yeah. Uh, first time I saw her was... Let me see. I think Billy Madison. I watched that before this. And uh, she played one of Billy's teachers, if you guys saw that comedy. But, uh, yeah, Last Action Hero. I only saw that later on, so... That was okay, too, I guess. Uh, Robert Baby Buggy Papa. <laughs> you only see her near the end, though. That's probably why you, you don't remember. Yeah, She's, like, one of the characters inside the movie in the movie kind of thing you know what i mean like there has like dual thing going on oh well, like, so she's like one of the I she's guess, a celebrity within the movie's movie yeah like she's not one of the characters uh, how do you say it? he's not like mo- she, she's not in the earthly realm in that in that movie she's like in the she's only a character in a, in a movie all in, in, in the, the movie's movie, movie. <laughs> yeah. so it's kind of confusing but yeah if you guys haven't seen last last action hero Try to watch it. But, yeah, well, I like the action. Black <laughs> yeah. action hero. Especially since that one review I did of it. Go yeah. check it out. Um, but, yeah, if you get the chance to watch it, I'd uh, I'd watch it. The rating on here is four stars. <laughs> rock'em, uh, rock'em Sock'em. Sock'em action flick, is it? I was like, well, why would you say <laughs> Rock'em Sock'em? It sounds like Rock'em Sock'em's robot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing in this world has prepared you for this. Mortal Kombat. Strap yourself in for pulse-pounding action, star-powered adventure, and cutting-edge special effects with awesome morphing sequence beyond your wildest dreams. Summon to a mysterious island. Three martial arts warriors... No, well, actually, there's more. <laughs> engage in the ultimate battle of good against the evil, the supernatural tournament of mortal combat. Star- starring Christopher Lambert, Highlander, Talisa Soto, Don Juan... Don John DeMarco, Bridget Wilson, last action hero, and featuring world-class... Martial arts champion Robin Sho, who plays uh, Liu Kang. It's the most awesome action jam reality shattering adventure the universe has ever witnessed. Prepare for Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing the movie was successful before they wrote this. Because imagine if it sucked. I don't know. Well, I mean, it, had, it was a big video game franchise at the time, so that helped. That alone and, and, helped it make some. some and and there. also back then in that time, video game adaptation to live action was like, oh, is this is the thing for it. It wasn't the best move, as no. with most of them. Like Mario Brothers. Uh, Mario Brothers. Uh, which was made, I think, two years before this one, so yeah. Yeah, the, the later <laughs> sequel. But, but yeah, you're not missing much if you don't see this movie, but if you but, get the chance, check it out. Yeah, and you like it. Yeah, it's, see you all later, and, and we'll if, try and do uh, more of these movie talks. I did have a bunch of them planned, but just time and time. And if you don't come back... Your soul is mine. Do what he says. <laughs>